What's up everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel here with another trading video. I can't believe that I'm making this video so gosh darn late. I greatly apologize for them. I was extremely busy with my day job and personal life and I'm just now getting around to showing you today's trade. A breakdown of what we're seeing here on the far left hand uh, side we have the intraday chart of the options that I traded. This is the one minute chart. The middle chart, we have the one hour chart of SPY. And on the far uh, right, the this teeny tiny chart is the daily chart. A quick rundown as to what is happening here. The daily chart, we're still in an uptrend. You can see that the last signal that we got was an up arrow. We're still only trading to the upside. I got a signal here on the first hour candlestick on SPY and I entered the trade I think half an hour before it actually closed. Now let me explain to you why I bought in so early unlike my other mistake where I got in early about 15 minutes. So I, I do have a day job that doesn't necessarily allow me to day trade and I have to uh, be very careful uh, when I'm actually watching the markets looking for a, an entry, looking for a trade. And so it was already going up and I was about 30 minutes early when I first bought in. I bought the, let me bring this over here. I bought the 323 calls that expire in seven days, January 15th. My first buy was at $2.55. Again, I bought a full 30 minutes before the closing of that candle and I only bought one. My full position though, I wanted to buy two. I understood that I wanted to buy two. So my logic in getting in 30 minutes before the close of that candle was, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get a starting position. So in case I can't get in um, at the end of that candle or, and or if it starts running on me. So I bought one with the understanding that I wanted to buy a second one. And it luckily it did close above the upper MOBO band. And then I bought another one right at the beginning of the next candle, right at 8.30 my time, as you can see there, I bought the second one at 2.30. And I'm not gonna lie, I did have to endure a little bit of pain. That seems to be sort of the running theme is um, enduring a little bit of pain before the actual move. I'm just trading these signals, very objective trading here, very easy trading as long as you have your emotions in check. I went ahead and placed a limit order for a 10% gain off of my average. My average was 242, I believe. So I sold the first option at 266. Now the other one, as you guys know, my game plan is always to sell half of my position at a 10% gain, sell the other one for bigger gains. So here's what happened. I sent my limit order 266, it executed, and then right after I sold, it was still moving, right after I sold, I had to um, go into a meeting at my day job. It was a surprise meeting. And I was really disappointed because in my thinking my my strategy my thinking and all of that jazz was i'm gonna hold that second uh, option for bigger gains uh, but because of that meeting i went ahead and did a market sell and sold luckily i sold at 20 cents higher at 286 giving me a a 13 percent gain overall on my position uh, again, my average price was about 242. I, mean, I sold one at 266 and I sold that second one at 286. So overall, I'm really happy about this trade. You can see here right at eight o'clock, I bought at 255, which one is it? It's, it's this one right here, actually. This one you can see that I bought, you can see the volume right here, I only bought one. That was the only one that traded right then and there. And then right at 8.30 my time, I bought a second one at $2.30. 8.30 my time, $2.30, and it actually kept going down. 
as low as 213. So I did have to endure that pain before it actually started moving back up. And then at 937 my time, I sold at 266 right there. And then three minutes later, 940 my time, I sold at 286 right there. And so overall, I'm not too, um, I'm happy. I'm happy about the trade. It was a winning trade. This strategy is working. I'm happy about that. I'm not happy that I had to sell because of my day job. My day job actually cost me that uh, gains. They cost me gains. They actually got as high as $3.65 for the day. Imagine that. And they still closed at $2.84. So amazing day in the stock market. The stock market just keeps moving up higher and higher and higher. Where it stops, nobody knows. But I will be sure to day trade it, guys. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I apologize that this is such a short video here. If you want to know more about the strategy that I'm using here, I'm going to put a link in the description down below where you have access to it. It is not my strategy. Full disclosure, it is not my strategy. Not the writer, not the author. I didn't come up with this strategy. I came across it on YouTube. The actual strategy is free uh, for anybody's you know, use. Uh, again, I'll put links in the description down below, but there's also a part of the strategy that I had to pay. I paid $15 to gain access to the actual multi time frame strategy, guys. It, again, if you're interested in knowing more, email me, comment down below. Uh, let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, what did you make money on? What did you lose money on? Do you need help? with anything in your trading. I want to help you become a better day trader, guys. We're almost at that thousand subscriber mark. That is my target at a thousand subscribers. I'm going to also give away the actual intraday strategy that I was using and that I still intend to use when I have the ability to actually sit in front of the computer and day trade the stock market, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. And also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate it. See you guys here next time. I hope that it's another green trade, guys. You guys take care. Thank you so much. Woo!